I have been in a rut for the last couple of weeks. There's toys loitering everywhere. He's getting really bored with his toys. Let's not even begin in the kitchen. And we are running out to IKEA now. What is this? My little helper is already here. This, by the way, is a complete fail. Hi, welcome back to my channel. Welcome to another video where I am in a mess. What else is new? And my house is in a mess. I've strategically covered all of those now, so you can't see it in the frame, but I'll show you in a bit the kind of mess that we are in. I have been in a rut for the last couple of weeks. Okay, I've not gone to the gym properly. I've not been productive. I've not done the things that I wanted to do. I have list every day, but I keep pushing it to the next day. And now it's become weeks, basically. It's okay to relax, it's okay to not do anything for a couple of days here and there, but it's definitely not okay to push it for this many weeks, okay? It's like, I don't know why, I'll probably talk about it later in the video, I've just not been motivated to do a lot of things, so... Hence why, my status now, went to the gym this morning, didn't change, continued work, I was working from home, so it was fine. Um, I finished work already, Levi is still sleeping, I need to wake him up in about 15 minutes now. And the house, I can't even begin to tell you the state of my house. Are you ready? Are you ready for the real unfiltered um, picture of my house, basically? There's these toys loitering everywhere. That's my work laptop and stuff. I've just left it there. I need to put it back. Um, there are stuff that I bought yesterday. Boxes that I need to get rid of. Some orders that came in today that I need to check, a lot of returns, a lot of stuff over here. There used to be a TV over here. That TV has now gone into our bedroom. I've always been the kind of person who was against having a TV in the bedroom. Lakshman wanted a TV in the bedroom a couple of years ago, and I was like, no, absolutely not. But I noticed that Levi wants a TV a lot more now. He doesn't normally watch TV at all, but we only um, let him watch a couple of worship videos lately and I noticed that he's been addicted to it. He wants it. He can say the word that he wants, that song that he wants. So he keeps saying the word and then he's like, he keeps pointing to the remote and he's obsessed with playing with the remote. He likes pressing the button and he knows when he presses something, something switches on on the TV. So I was like, okay, no, this is not good. He wants a TV. He doesn't want his toy. That is where his toys were. Okay, and that's our TV cabinet. Some of his toys is over there. Our toys are in here. Our toys meaning our board games and stuff. These are all ours. It's not for Levi. Um, but it's just not working anymore. He doesn't really want to go into his toy cabinet to take anything. He, I feel like he's really bored. I feel like he's getting really bored with his toys or with this entire setup for the age that he is now. And he's walking and moving and everything. It's like he wants things within his reach and he only wants to take things that he can see clearly not when it's all piled up like this at all so i figured it's high time we changed everything we rejigged everything so obviously the tv has already moved up this cabinet is going to go i need to try and sell that off and i'm going to get another cabinet um another like two of those shelf thingy for, for Levi's toys and stuff. And then I need to get rid of all of these things, rearrange it properly, make it livable, make this house livable. Let's not even begin in the kitchen. Lakshman made lunch today. So yeah, and he hasn't had a chance to clean up. Um, so that's there. It's not going to be a, like an overnight speed cleaning or whatever. It's just rearranging, organizing, and the house needs a good deep clean. So we are going to go to IKEA tonight to get the stuff. And then we are going to assemble everything and rearrange everything tonight while Levi is sleeping. The idea is to give him a reveal, like a surprise tomorrow morning to see how it is. He is going to nursery in the morning tomorrow. So we really have to... Uh, sort everything out tonight and I I think the idea is that I'm going to be cleaning while Lakshman is fitting the, the cupboard. We'll see how things go. But I feel like I really need to sort out the house first and foremost before I can get my mind in the right frame uh, that I can do something properly. I need to start somewhere. There's so many things that I need to fix in my life at the moment and I have to start somewhere and I think this is like a very, very obvious place to start off with.
running from all things at once without thinking twice. And I knew it would catch up, and that we would be the ones left behind. The stories I've been told. The house is somewhat acceptable, at least. You can see the floor now and the mat. Before I continue with the rest of the cleaning, I wanted to share with you about the small products. It's called Small, but it's super high performance. It's eco-friendly, vegan, cruelty-free. Now, I'm not sponsored to do this. These were gifted to me. However, I've already tried it multiple times so that I can give you an unbiased review about these products. And I also have a discount code for you. If you use my discount code called uh, Chimmy15, I'll put that on the screen and in the description box below, you'll be able to order a free trial pack of laundry capsules and dishwasher tabs and you can also get 15% off any additional products on the first two orders. The best thing that I like about this is that it doesn't take up too much space, it's in small packages and the package is child lock. You can see Levi playing with all the things because I let him play with it. I just make sure it's safe and then I will let him go to town with it. The package contains dishwasher tablets, bio laundry capsule, non-bio laundry capsule and a mixed spray refill as well. It's like a subscription service. They measure and estimate how much you would use and they would send it to you on a regular basis. It doesn't have to be monthly, it probably is every two months, every three months depending on your usage, and it's small enough to go through the letterbox. You don't even have to be home. You don't have to worry about timing your delivery according to when you're at home or bothering your neighbors to pick it up for you. This is definitely not going to be the best unboxing experience for you ever, but I just want to show you how easy or difficult it is to open the box with the laundry detergent um, package. There is three steps to open it. The first one is obviously rip off the section that says number one, and then the second one is rip off the section that says uh, tab two, and the third one is rip off you know, the part that says number three, and then you push it out like a drawer. Absolutely no way can a toddler ever get to this. So this box is filled with all of the spray refills. There's multiple in it. All you need to do is fill water to the lower part of the band and then drop in the refill tablet, let it dissolve fully, and then refill the water to the top of the band and then close it. The tablets fit in the neck of the bottle perfectly. It's not too big, it's not too small. It goes in very, very easily. It took about five minutes for this entire thing to dissolve. You don't have to shake, you don't have to do it anything. Just drop in the refill and then let it sit and it's done. These laundry capsules are little superheroes. They're super concentrated. They work so much more better than the regular fairy detergent that I normally use, which is actually far more expensive than the small products. All you need to do with this one is drop it at the back of your drum and then add your laundry. Make sure you don't overfill it, obviously. And they tell you to put on a kettle and enjoy the results, but I was doing something else as well. So drop the laundry capsule in, fill it with your laundry and... Um, I was also using the fabric conditioner. I normally have this soft and I think it's a comfort optimer. You only need four sprays of it. I did five because my first spray wasn't all that great. So I switched on um, the washing machine and then I moved on to unpacking some of my boxes, some of the deliveries that I had. And my little helper is sitting here unpacking it. He loves it when I'm unpacking something. He just wants to sit there and watch me do it. Those were snack cups that I bought for him and it's really, really nice. It's from Munchkin Brands as well. And we are running out to Ikea now. I was going to change, but we are very late. I haven't had a chance to bathe or to change, but it doesn't matter, I'm just gonna go like this now. This is the quickest trip ever I've ever done to Ikea. We went, quickly got the things that we needed to get, and then we left. I think it was like half an hour altogether. Came back home, uh, Levi's dinner is finished, and he's now walking around having his strawberry, and they two are playing 
Hide and seek. We'll put him down to sleep in about half an hour or so. Once he's slept, we can then start fixing everything and cleaning up the place. Smile. Hold your hand in my hand. Looking at the sunset, man, you're looking good tonight. I want to kiss you before the sun goes down. It's what you do. physical battery is about to die so we just sat down to take five minutes of a break we're gonna rest for a while and we are eating the scripts but at the crips from ikea i'm almost gonna finish it we didn't intend to buy this at all okay when i went to ikea i wanted to buy all of these things now because there was a membership discount a very good membership discount and also a student discount lakshman is still a student so he gets that discount too uh, if you buy £75, you get £10 off. Our total, after the members discount, came up to £74. And there was this pack of crisps nearby. I thought, Lakshman's gone inside the room. I thought it would probably be 70, 80 pence. And so did Lakshman, actually. He thought the same. That's why he grabbed two bags. Turns out each bag was £1.20. Pence. Huge bag. I think there's, how much is that? 150 grams in there? But yeah, it's only half full anyway. Half of it was at super salty. We eat very less salt now because we cook the same food as we buy anyway. He eats with us, so we don't put so much salt. Um, we set it up. I'll show you in a minute. It looks quite nice actually. I had a bit of a thought to rearrange the entire living room, put the the shelf by the window, and move the armchairs to that wall. But I think it's going to take up too much space. Lakshman's gone in to get all of the extra toys out. I am going to rearrange everything. I'm going to give myself only half an hour to rearrange the toys, take out what we want to swap his toys around and then finish it off tonight so that tomorrow morning when Levi wakes up, we can do like a grand reveal for him. I really want to get some sleep tonight. I'm starting to get a headache and I'm really, really exhausted and tired. So we'll see. Um, 10 past 9, half an hour. Last night I managed to put things away and then I got really tired so I didn't bother doing like a proper good job or anything. I'll show you how it looks like now. And then we moved all of the extra toys into our room this morning. Once Levi wakes up, we have to move it back into his room. He is about to wake up. I think I have a couple more minutes. I just want to dust off a few surfaces, do a little bit more cleaning before we pick him up and show him the place. This is how it looks like. It's not final, but it's just random bits and pieces here and there. That I've put. Ball, are you looking for the ball? Oh. Where's your ball? What is this? What is this? Do you like it, baby? Look at that! Look at your toy! 
books, isn't it? You are so happy you can get to your books now, aren't you? Yes. Yeah. yeah, what is that? Did you miss your Lego set? Oh. Yeah, you yeah. did, didn't you? You want to pull it out? Is it heavy? We should probably put that down. <laughs> Do you want to take out your Lego? Oh. Yeah, that's a bus. You can reach everything now, can't you? Where's your eggs, baby? Where are your eggs? Your yellow eggs. Look next to you, on your right. There it is. <laughs> Yay. <laughs> he actually likes it, baby. He loves it, baby. Did you see his like face? <laughs> My clothes that I put for wash yesterday had already dried in the morning before I even left for work. So I wanted to fold it and put it away before I went. And that's Levi standing next to me playing that boy. He's my little shadow. He loves to be where I am. While I was folding the clothes, I noticed that they felt and looked so much more newer and fresher than it would when I used a normal detergent to wash. And I didn't even do anything else extra. I didn't use like an enhancer or anything. All I did was a laundry capsule and the fabric conditioner. That's it. Not too strong a smell, not too plain. And it didn't have that very funny, pungent, you know, odd kind of odor or anything like that at all. In today's episode of Cleaning Up, I am going to sort out the freezer. It's in a complete mess. There's way too much food in there. Um, I always freeze food. I cook a lot in advance. I batch cook and I freeze everything, especially Levi's food. Our food, we've not been freezing so much at all, but I'm prepping a lot for Levi because I really want to have all of his food ready. We have four drawers and everything is full to the brim. I don't even know where everything is. I need to take it, take it out, sort it out, rearrange, and then plan what else I need to cook for him. My little helper is already here. He absolutely loves taking everything out. Can I have that, please? Can you give it to mommy? Oh, you don't want to. Jump into the car on a Friday night. I want to drive with you. Looking for a bar in the nearest town. I've never seen a sky so blue. We don't have a plan and the night is young. It doesn't matter what we do. Okay. Ain't nobody like. Ain't nobody like. You look so beautiful. to be yours out these are all Levi's food I would usually label it and say what it is and put everything apart but there's quite a lot I need to go through all of these things and these are all ours these were all leftovers from summer I need to sort it out and these are just extra frozen stuff that I need to organize properly sorted it didn't take too long but it's just very tedious to take each drawer out and clean it and organize everything and put it back in the freezer accordingly now i know what i have in the freezer and what i have in the fridge i just need to make a list uh for grocery we were going to do it today but i think most likely tomorrow is when we're going to do grocery shopping now it's a nice day we just want to go out and spend some time in the park with levi 
he's just got this newfound love for walking and for balls and he loves running around with his ball. So we're going to take him out of the park so that we can run about and play for a while with him. I feel so much more better already. It's just bits and pieces that I did. It's not way too much at all. It's like the living room is now, It's I won't say it's not tidy. Everything has a place to go. Okay, it's so much more brighter. I'll probably insert like a picture uh, when it is tidy. Levi has been playing obviously and it's well lived in already. He loves it. He absolutely loves it. You would have seen from the clip earlier on that he left the surprise uh, on Friday morning when he saw everything and he likes going to his books. He likes looking at all of his toys and picking it up. I just need to find like one or two insets to put things in properly, like for his balls and his cars and stuff. But I suppose that is going to take time. I'm not going to be able to easily find everything. So that's done. The living room is so much more bigger now and spacious and more practical. I just need to sell the other cabinet and, you know, kind of tidy up that area. The fridge is done and I also did bits and pieces of cleaning up here and there. Not really deep cleaning, but, you know, basic cleaning, which I've been neglecting for such a long time now, which I did off camera, obviously. I didn't film all of those things. And I feel so much more better. So when we go out and come back, I am going to get cracking on with a lot of my work. I already have like a long to-do list today. And I'm going to come back and do all of those things. And for now, as a treat, I'm going to finish my mini cone. This, by the way, is a complete fail, okay? A couple of weeks ago when I went to Asta, I bought mini cones instead of... It was super hot. I wanted to buy ice creams. So I bought mini cones instead of the huge one in hope of consuming lesser calories. But that didn't work at all. This one mini cone is probably one third the size of a big cone. By the time we eat it, it's like once we finish it, it feels like we want to eat a lot more of it. And then we end up eating two or three at a go. So it's, it's a complete fail. It doesn't even taste the same as a regular cone anyway. But I'm just going to finish this up and I'll see you in the next one again. Bye.